Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Sahan from the Details Pro team. I'm super excited to make this video. This is the first five things I think you should learn when you're designing with Details Pro. So what are the first five things? Why these first five things? Basically, as we get towards the more advanced designs, I really wanna make sure that you know the most uh, foundational and fundamental things. So as you're designing cool things that look like this, your designs are built uh, in the smartest way possible and just the easiest and most enjoyable way. So today I'm just gonna give you five things that I think if you haven't learned these things, watch this video, check it out. If you already know these things, amazing. You'll probably enjoy some of the more advanced videos that I'll be making after this. So let's go ahead and get started with the first five things I think you should learn. I'm gonna start a new file here and we're gonna do most of our work in a large widget template. Okay, so the first thing that I think you should learn, number one, stacks. Maybe you already know stacks, maybe you never heard of them. Basically, this is a Swift UI concept that Details Pro makes really easy for designers to work with. You can see right here I've got vertical stack, horizontal stack, and layered stack. So what does a stack do? Basically, a stack just arranges anything you put inside of it. So you'll notice when I add a vertical stack here, there's nothing because a stack doesn't by itself look like anything. But as I start putting text in there, boom, boom, there we go. They're stacked on top of each other. And if I put a horizontal stack in here, so horizontal stack, still nothing, but I'm going to put some text in there, boom, boom. Right now they're like stacking horizontally. So here we have a vertical stack, which is the whole thing. And inside there, there's a horizontal stack. So the first thing I think you should learn when you're designing with Details Pro is stacks. Now let's move on to number two. I'm going to get rid of this. The second thing you should learn, spacers. So spacer is another view just like vertical stack. You know, you get to it by popping this menu open. What a spacer does is it takes up all of the space that's left proportionally. So what do I mean by that? Check this out. If I put a spacer between those two texts, it takes up all the space. So it pushes them out to the sides. If I put um, a spacer on the, f you know, before that first text while leaving this one in there, now those two spacers are sharing the space that's left, right? Because there's those two lines of text, there's this big widget. And then when all that, you know, all, when the texts are done um, and have been laid out, the rest of the space gets divvied up between the two spacers. So if I add another spacer at the bottom, now they're sharing it, you know, with thirds. So uh, the most important thing I think here to just learn is that if you have a stack and you want to push things around, it's really easy to get started doing that with spacers. Because right here, we've got a vertical stack, two lines of text and a spacer on top. We can also pick that up, move it down to the bottom and it pushes them up. So number two, second thing to learn is spacers. Okay, now let's move on. The third thing I think you should learn when you're designing with Details Pro are modifiers. So here's what a modifier is. I'm gonna get rid of this. A modifier is how we change the colors of things, change the fonts of things, and make all sorts of appearance changes. So um, modifiers are another built-in Swift UI concept. Details Pro makes them easier. So all I gotta do is tap on text, and when you come over here on the right, you'll see that this text currently has no modifiers. So what does that mean? That means that it's really just showing up in whatever is sort of the inherited or the default appearance that's coming through, right? So there's nothing specifically modified about this text. As soon as we add a modifier, either by going to the add modifier list or by using one of the suggested ones here, you'll see it pop up in that area. So this text, that first hello world, I'm gonna give it a font modifier. So now you can see this text, font modifier. Other text doesn't have anything, right? We never added anything to that one. So that modifier is attached directly to this text element. And what can we do with it? Well, you can tap in Details Pro to dive in a little more. And you can see we can use this to change the font. Super simple, um, super easy. There's a lot more, you know, there's a few more like weights, there's different styles, but overall, what I want you to just learn here is that modifiers are, you know, the most important thing to get started with and try to understand as, as well as possible early on. So 
Let's go ahead and add another modifier to this other text. So I'm gonna tap on the text. It's got no modifiers. Add font. You know, let's make it smaller this time. Wonderful. So can a single design element have multiple modifiers? Yes, it, it can have as many as you want. So you can see back on that first one, right now it has font. We could also add color and we could make the color red. We could also add, let's see, shadow, right? So you, you can basically mix and match these modifiers to make exactly what you'd like to design. I'm gonna go ahead and clear those off. Just swipe them off to delete, cool. Okay, so now moving on to the fourth thing that I think you should learn when you're doing uh, designing with Details Pro. Modifiers on stacks. So this is where it gets really interesting. So you can put modifiers on text. You can also put a modifier just onto like a whole vertical stack. And depending on the modifier, it will sometimes even affect the, the elements that are in there. So for example, if we wanted all of this text to be pink, Instead of adding color here and color here, we can just add color to the whole vertical stack. So now when I go pink, boom, everything inside is pink. Now this is sort of like CSS or other styling languages you might know where you can be, you know, like it's like the more specific you are deep down, that sort of overrides the more general styling from outside. So if I give this line its own blue modifier, that one takes precedence. But this other one that doesn't have any specific color just gets the pink. And if I change it on the outside to green, you know, that one gets green. First one, still chilling with that specific blue. And once I remove that, also turns green. So the fourth thing that I think you should learn are modifiers that can be applied to stacks. Um, very often, every single time I'm designing, I'm likely adding padding to a vertical stack because that just makes a lot of sense. Um, maybe adding a background. Let's see, anything else in here that's pretty common? Um, depending on what you're doing, maybe a blur. If you're trying to make something, you know, that looks like it's, it's blurred off like that. So I'm going to go ahead and undo. And yeah, back to where we were, we had a green modifier and a padding. So that's the fourth thing, fourth thing I think you should learn. Um, modifiers on stacks. And now let's move on to the fifth and final thing I think you should learn when you're starting to design with Details Pro, frames. Now to explain frames, I'm gonna clear everything and start with just an image. Okay, so what is a frame? A frame is a modifier that you can apply to any kind of view that helps you set the way that its size is uh, laid out. So you can give it a specific width, a specific height. You can give it a minimum width and let it grow beyond that. You can do all sorts of things like that. But basically frame lets you change width and height. So how does this work? So in this case, we have this image. An image is a view that on its own will grow and just take up all the space that it's given. You see, I can do fit and fill. So that's just a, you know, a default behavior. If we wanted this flower to be exactly 150 by 150, how do we do that? We do it with frame. So you end up using frame a ton. All we do, we got frame right here. Now we go into width, 150. Height, 150. So you can see our image has one modifier on it, which is a width 150, height 150 frame. So super helpful because then now you can go in here and say, hey, you know, I wanted to fill that square. And just like that, we've got our image in a square. You can also do things like say, you know, maybe actually I just wanted to be a height of 150, but I don't actually really mind the width. And we want that to be a maximum. So now what we've got is we have a frame that takes whatever's inside and lets it be any height as long as it's up to 150, right? We can do the opposite and say any height at least 150, and this will just grow again because it's already bigger than that. So maximum 150, pretty cool. Um, there's also shortcuts like full width, full height, which kind of brings us back to where we started, but with other views, it's, it's a lot more helpful. So the fifth thing that I think you should learn designing with Details Pro, there we go, number five, frame. Okay, this has been five things to learn your first time designing. Let me know what you think of this video, what you'd like to see. 
Um, I'd like to do a lot more of these really beginner specific ones as soon as um, all of that stuff is covered. I'd love to move on to the more advanced stuff. So yeah, hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.